This is not how this manufacturer intended you to use this product. So the disclaimer is, if you do this to your product, you are voiding your warranty. You have to take the, you have to open up the unit. We don't want to promise anything about your computer. If you break your computer, you you know lose information or data. Basically, this is a guide on how you could possibly do it, but basically proceed with at your own risk if you're going to follow these instructions. Um, we're going to be using a flathead screwdriver. You do need a smaller uh, tipped uh, Phillips head screwdriver also for taking the bigger screws out that we're going to use the drill on. Paper clip that you'll need to bend and then you need either one or two USB flash drives. So one you need to uh, get window it needs to be at least eight gigs of storage on it and you need to get a Windows 10 ISO. Um, the second flash drive is if you want to back up your Chrome OS. You might want to do that just in case for some reason you ever want to go back to Chrome OS or in case you bricked your box or something. Two sticks of 8 gig PC3L DDR3 uh, SODIM laptop memory, 32 gig uh, M2 SATA SSD. The 16 gig unit that comes inside of the machine is sufficient to put Windows 10. Windows 10 will warn you that there's not enough space, but there is. We've done it. We've tested it. If you want to just get going, the 16 gig will work. Okay, and then you're gonna take one of your screws, and there are these two holes, one, two. Those are for VESA mounting, but they're also great for helping you get the bottom off because it's actually really hard to get off. So take your, your one of the screws you pulled out, stick it into that hole, and kind of put it at an angle, and then pull. And it does help to put one on both sides and pull on both sides, and you should get it out. There we go. And then it separates into two pieces, very nice and clean. So now we've got our motherboard with our two sticks of two gigs of RAM. We've got our 16 gig SSD and our Wi-Fi card. Um, at this point, <clears throat> if you wanna do upgrades, this is when you can do some upgrades, but you don't wanna upgrade your SSD quite yet. You need to do that later. There's this silver screw that's closest to the Wi-Fi, not to be confused with the one down here that's by the, the memory. This is like a firmware override screw type of thing. That needs to be removed or none of this process will work. So we're removing that and discarding it. It's not going back into the system. I also want to point out now that there is a little hole uh, right here near your SD card slot. That's where you're going to be putting your paper clip in here in a minute. Hold down. It's, there's a button inside. Hold that down and press the power button. And then keep holding. Keep holding. You're going to hold it down until you get some picture on your monitor. So now we're letting go. Okay, now we're gonna press Control D on the keyboard. Go ahead and insert that paper clip one more time. And now you're gonna be restarting. Re-enable, do not do that. The computer is going to restart. You get two beeps and then this is gonna restart. Your system is transitioning to developer mode. This is what we want. Control, Alt, and H. Are you sure you want to set up this device as a Chromebox for meetings device? The answer, folks, is no. We're going to find our network that we have here, and we're going to connect to it. Okay, now we're going to press Control-Alt-F2. We're going to type in Kronos. C-H-R-O-N-O-S, Kronos. Once you've got the command, press enter. You will see this. Just keep waiting. All right, guys, so we are now at the screen here where we've got a bunch of choices and we want to do options. So we're going to type in the, word, the, the numbers board and enter. And then we're going to say yes, Y for, and enter. And then we're going to say Y and enter again. Now we're at the part where if you want to back up your Chrome OS to a flash drive, you can go ahead and do that. You can do Y for yes if you are. So right now it's basically flashing the BIOS of this motherboard to a BIOS that has a UEFI BIOS. So full ROM firmware successfully installed. That didn't take too long. It was pretty quick, about a minute. So it says press enter to return to the main menu. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now go ahead and press P and enter, which will power off the computer. If you're not going to upgrade your SSD, just completely disregard this step and you'll be fine. We've got the new 32 gig in. We're going to tighten down the screw or, and I'll let you guys do it however, whenever you want, but it's just putting those screws uh, or back in. It's pretty simple. I'm not going to go over that right now. 
but we're going to go ahead and take our Windows installer, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this computer on. Uh, we're going to press Escape when we're starting here. If you miss Escape, don't worry. Just press Control, Delete, and it will restart. And press it. You just need to press Escape when the computer turns on. Uh, we're going to select Boot Menu, and then we've got a Lexar USB flash drive we're using, so we're going to select that, and it's going to load Windows installer off of that flash drive. And then two options here, install now or repair. We're gonna install now. You can just press enter on your keyboard. If you're sticking with your 16 gig SSD, in our experience, we were able to get Windows 10 home to, to work, even though there's a warning that says it's not recommended. It will work. So we're gonna do, I don't have a key and press enter. And I'm gonna select Windows 10 home N because that is the smallest version of Windows there is because it doesn't come with Windows Media Player. And then we're gonna get to this Microsoft Terms and Conditions. And then you, you're met with two options here. Do you wanna upgrade your computer? Or do you wanna do a custom install? We wanna do a custom install. If you're doing the 16 gig SSD that came with the box, you're gonna have like 15 partitions. You need to delete every single one of them until you have just one drive just like this. I think it'll say you have like 14.9 gigabytes after you're done wiping them all. So get them all erased until there's only one left. And then you're gonna get a little warning thing down here that says that you need to have more space. I have the 32 gig. I actually didn't even know this was gonna happen. I'm getting a warning on this one as well. But I'm just gonna go ahead and press next or enter. All right, so after the white loading screen's over, you're gonna get met with the rabbit again. We're gonna type in device manager. We're gonna find a high definition audio device that has a orange exclamation point by it. And we're gonna do update driver. And we're gonna search automatically. So now we are downloading the audio driver here from Windows Update. Um, I'm just gonna tell you that we've already done this and it works. 